All right, so a quick question today I got on fake and impure honeys. How can you tell? So fake and impure honeys become more of a commonplace. So unless you live in the state of Florida or the European Union, you might not be able to trust your pure honey labels. Why is that? Only Florida, the United States, requires them to be able to label as such. They can add in lots of things, uh, simple sugars. They can add in uh, lots of corn syrups, high fructose corn syrup, things like that, cane sugar, uh, high, high preference for those things. So you have to know your honey's purity laws for your region. So European Union, they have to be free of additives by law, and of course in the state of Florida. Uh, that does not apply if it has something like um, your, your honey blends or things like that. So know your label. So what are some ways that we can test? Of course you can do a, a blot test, which is really simple. Uh, this, is a, this is a Heinz product. I went ahead and just, I'm gonna put some here. Unfortunately, you can already see it's soaking through. Uh, put a little bit, a little dollop of that Heinz one. And again, this was from Pennsylvania, so it's completely okay for them to do that. They do not have to label that as anything different. It's labeled as honey. So Heinz, don't come after me. They can absolutely do that. Versus here is some that was from here from Florida. Go ahead and take, put it right in the middle. If you notice, it's not soaking through. You won't have that uh, soaking through of honey in there. Another way you can test after you do your drop test on the paper towel to whether or not it is flammable. So honey is flammable, has about a flash point. Uh, ignition point of around 410 degrees Fahrenheit, flash point of about 320. So you take some of this, uh, if you have any cotton, uh, Q-tip, things like that. Uh, this is stuff that I use to ignite, it's very flammable. If you're, uh, when I'm letting up my smoker for my beehive, and we're gonna go ahead and put this on there. Now, anywhere that the honey is not on, will should still light very, very easily. So we're gonna try to get some of this on there. And so I'll show you, we're just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of this on there. And I don't know specifically what's in there. It could be, I don't know. But go ahead and hold flame to it. You notice anywhere that it's not coming into contact with should still light. But anywhere that's not, that's being blocked by the honey, does not light. Versus if we go ahead and we take a little bit, of this cotton, and then we'll go ahead and put some Florida wildflower honey on there. Go ahead and cover it up, which should block all that cotton from there. Go ahead and try to light it. And go ahead and you'll notice it will not block it and it's still lighting up and we're gonna try not to light the whole house on fire, but you can see it burns really easy. So that's one way you can tell whether or not your honey, and see how it dollops too, that's that holding that droplet effect that's also consistent with your pure honey. So, uh, great question. If you have any more, please feel free to ask them. Once again, like and subscribe. Thank you.